Hello, I'm going to uh, do a video of me going through part A, lab one, lesson one project. Um, so I'm going to use this spreadsheet, which is a, an open office uh, spreadsheet, or actually a knockoff. It's a LibreOffice uh, spreadsheet. Now all these commands you can do in Excel, um, you can do these in Google Sheets. Uh, and definitely an open office. Um, some of the aspects, of course, will look a little different, uh, but the idea is essentially all spreadsheets have these same uh, basic tools, uh, and you can find them in more or less the same way. Okay, so we open a spreadsheet and save it to a folder such as P1. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing the save right now, but you know I can go to file and do a save or save as and uh, get it that way. Um, okay, so in, uh, cell A1, um, type uh, uniform, uh, if I can type uh, uniform uh, 01. Okay, so you see I just uh, put that in there. Uh, and then cell 2 is equals rand and there I just made a random number and I am going to just drag that down. I'm going to grab this little spot over here on the bottom right, uh, drag that down to uh, cell 51 and that gives me 50 random numbers between 0 and 1. Okay, and then the, the problem is that um, uh, let's see, uniform zero one copy, uh, is that every time I recalculate, so there you should have seen that, uh, if you didn't, you can always back up the video, but you should have seen that uh, um, these numbers changed uh, when I uh, entered something. So there they just changed again. So every time the spreadsheet decides it should recalculate, um, it recalculates those numbers. So that's, that can be a problem if you're trying to do something more static. And so I'm going to highlight um, all those, uh, do a copy. Now I usually just do a control C, but there you can see I'm doing a copy. And then here I'm going to uh, right click so I can get a paste special. Um, so again, everybody has different ways of doing this paste special. Uh, but the big thing is what you don't want are the formulas. Uh, text and numbers certainly are fine. Date and time, that's fine. Uh, formats is fine. Um, that kind of, but no formulas. And so if I paste those in, then notice these numbers don't match those anymore because the act of pasting actually uh, recalculated so it it had copied these numbers into the uh, uh, buffer and then when I pasted it recalculated these over here and so they're different now. Uh, that's okay we just want these numbers. Um, so I have my uniform copy and now what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and sort these and so I can, since this is the only thing in this column that I have are these numbers I want to sort, I can highlight that and uh, find data somewhere, and in particular you want sort. Now you could say sort ascending or descending, but I think it's best if you use the, the general sort. Um, uh, let's see, the cells next to also contain data. Do you want to, ex no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I just want the current selection. And now uh, sometimes it won't notice if you have a heading in your column uh, and you have to uh, maybe go to options. Um, so uh, let's see, I don't know, somewhere in here I think you can tell, it. oh yeah, range contains column labels. Uh, so all spreadsheets, you can either have a column label or not. Uh, we do, and so it notices that, and it's saying, hey, do you want to sort that? Since it's the only one I can sort. Um, and uh, in ascending. Um, now, this over here said sort descending, so I need to check descending. 
and say OK. Uh, so there are my numbers. Okay. So there I've, I've done that. Now we want to calculate the descriptive statistics. And so it says in C1, type descriptive uh, statistics. Okay, and I'll widen that out so it'll end up looking a little prettier. I can center things and so forth to make them look better if I want. Um, and then in D1, uh, type value. So I have value. Uh, then I want the mean. Uh, and to get the mean, that's just the average. So I type average. And open parenthesis. And I want to highlight all of these numbers. And uh, close parenthesis and there's the average which should be there are random numbers between 0 and 1 uh, uniform random numbers and you see it is around 0.5 so so that's good <coughs> excuse me okay uh, then we want the sample standard deviation uh, sample uh, standard deviation now, I suppose it's fine if you want to uh, abbreviate. Uh, so the sample standard deviation, that's just equal STDEV, standard deviation. Uh, again, I need to highlight these. Uh, the reason we're, part of the reason we're just using 50 numbers is it doesn't take so long to highlight. Uh, so there I've done the sample standard deviation, the sample variance. Um, now the sample variance is uh, just the square of the sample standard deviation. Um, but it's also, so I could just say square this number up here. Um, but there's also a command VAR for variance. And... Uh, I will do that, enter there, uh, so there's those, then um, population standard deviation, and uh, this is mainly to show they are different quantities. They assume different things, and then I'm also going to do the population variance. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, they, you know, this is to show it does matter. Um, so here equals, and for uh, the population uh, standard deviation and uh, variance you just it's the starts out as the same command standard D but then you put a P on the end for population and highlight all that uh, and uh, close parenthesis and hit enter and um, and then uh, equals VARP and again, highlight everything. Uh, control, put the close parenthesis, hit enter. And if you look at the numbers, you'll see that the population standard deviation and variance are slightly smaller than the standard devi uh, than the sample standard deviation and variance. Um, in the reading, it talks about this. We use a slightly uh, different number to compute them. Um, we, for uh, population, we di divide by the total number n. Uh, for the sample, we divide by n minus 1, a slightly smaller number, which makes a bigger number overall. And th the idea there is if you know it's a sample, then you're probably missing some of the extreme values. So you need to fudge a little for that. And what we know in statistics is uh, that just using n minus 1 instead of n does, does a good job. Okay, so we have those items. 
then the last couple are median okay so we'll type median and uh, then interquartile range okay there's the interquartile range so median is just that command uh, M E uh, D I A N and again we highlight our 50 numbers and so our median is also somewhere near 0.5 uh, and then our inner quartile range uh, that's our third quartile minus our first quartile so that's our biggest formula we have to put in so uh, to do a quartile you simply say quartile uh, then you highlight the range you want okay so I did that and then a comma and then a three for third quartile and then I do the same thing again minus now I could be a little quicker instead of typing all that I could uh, highlight all that uh, do a control C or copy uh, paste and then change that three to a one and hit enter and there I have uh, all the quantities uh, I'm supposed to calculate alright so we've got that now we want to compare some things and so what we do is it says now let's highlight all of this and copy it okay I again I usually just use a control C but for you all to see it um, uh, I'll do it this way and I'll spread things out a little bit to uh, look a bit better um, descriptive statistics and value I probably need to make that just a little bit wider okay so um, well, I make it a lot wider I guess okay um, so I can still see my instructions here there we go and so I just copied everything everything is, is exactly the same uh, and now it says uh, change the entry here in E1 um, to uh, uh, let's see uh, let's E1 um, Oh, I, uh, oh, E1, I can't read my own instructions. So, okay, outlier, um, and that's just so we know it's, it's different than the uniform 0, 1, um, and then it says, okay, change this to a 10, that biggest value, because we had them sorted by descending and, and so that we know 0.99318 was our largest value and so we put in a 10 and the idea is okay look at um, what's changed here and you know so I can see the mean and the standard deviation and uh, variance uh, they're very different uh, but uh, in population those are all different um, but when you get down here to median and interquartile range, which measure similar things as mean and standard deviation, um, we didn't see anything change. And uh, so we have that. Then it says, uh, let's go to um, cells I1 uh, and write difference. I'm not sure why. Skip the column in there, but you know, hey. Uh, and then it says equals and G2 minus uh, D2. So here, you know, you can type in the G2, but you can also click minus and then go over here to D2 like that and enter. And then I can copy and paste, or I can just simply drag down and it fills everything in, and I see how. Uh, things are different and I see a couple zeros for the median and interquartile range and um, uh, let's see so that's to get the differences and um, you all have a few more uh, items 
down or a couple more things right down here, a picture and and all that. But um, uh, for me, I've made it through part A. So I'll finish.